grade ones and welcome back to online learning. Yesterday we learned that there are two letters in the alphabet that make the sh sound. So can you remember what those two letters are? Yes, it's Sammy Snake and Harry Hatman. And when they stand next to each other, they make the shh sound. Remember, Harry Hatman hates noise. So he turns around to Sammy Snake and asks him to stop hissing. And so when they stand next to each other in words, they say shh. Now yesterday, we looked at words that start with the shh sounds. Let's recap or go over them again quickly. And then we'll move on to words that have the shh sound at the end of the word. Let's get going. Sometimes words have the sh sound at the end of the word. Let's have a look at a few of those words now. Dish Trash Rubbish Fish Smash Brush Wash, crash, rush, wish. For our fun activity today, we are going to write our wish down on a piece of paper. And then you can put it in an envelope or you can just fold it and put it under your pillow. And perhaps your wish might come true. This is what the first worksheet looks like today that we will be doing. What you need to do, boys and girls, is you need to write the shh sound in the space that they have left open for you. So on this worksheet, we have a shoe a ship, a shark, a shirt, a fish, and a sheep. And here is just a little reminder how we write shh. Remember, the s is half the size of the tall letter that Harry Hatman is. The second shh worksheet that you're going today comes in two parts. The first part of the worksheet, you have to fill in the sh sound. On this worksheet, we have a shoe, a shell, a fish, a brush, a sheep. Here is a little boy shouting, shorts, shirt, dish, ship, crash, and lastly, shower. You have to fill in the sh sound in the blank space. Then the second part of this worksheet, we've got some sentences. Now, you have to fill in the word that you choose from these up here so that the sentence makes sense. It can't be a nonsense sentence. So, for example, sentence number one 
says, I like to eat and chips. So, what word would fit this sentence the best? I bet you it's not, I like to eat shower and chips. Can you find the right word? Sentence number two says, I sailed on a big, I bet you the answer is not, I sailed on a big brush. Make sure that your sentences are not nonsense sentences. And then Mrs. Aston is just going to read the last two sentences and you can figure out what word needs to fit in that space. The boy lost his school. There are three different answers you can use there. And sentence number four, I, my hair.